Hallo, hallo. Today I wanted to talk about the Myers-Briggs test in psychology. And I wanted to more specifically go into intuitive versus sensing. It's a it's a topic worth discussing because to me, you know, psychology is a sham industry and I don't like or trust psychologists. They're just after your money anyways. But the only really thing important part of the Myers-Briggs test is the intuitive versus sensing. That's usually shown with an N or an S in your personality type. Now, the reason this is... Uh, this is kind of like how a, a blind chicken is right twice a day. Like They've accidentally stumbled into something that's way more profound and way more important to psychology than uh, they ever anticipated. And I'm going to explain to you why this is. See, what intuitive versus sensing really is about, it's, it's kind of... Uh, it's a proxy for your soul, right? Uh, intuition is just your soul acting upon you, right? So you have these two types. You have the sensing and the intuitive people. Uh, the the sensing people uh, work very much like robots. Like these people are barely human. Uh, they need constant like information input, uh, like. Uh, through their eyes and their ears, they hear and they see and they read and they need authority figures to tell them what to think and what to believe. They need input exactly like um, a computer program when you code. That's how a sensing person's uh, personality uh, brain functions, essentially. They're, they they just put in lines of code where they they walk into a room and they see chair and then they run program tired legs if true equals yes then sit down and these people are like uh, function like this they cannot function alone they are uh, uh, they are pack animals and they are you know as I said barely human the the, the Myers Briggs test says that about three quarters of respondents are sensing, whereas one quarter of the human population is intuitive, which is uh, concerning to say the least. Uh, so that, uh, but it does explain a lot, does explain, you know, a lot of where we are today. These senselets, essentially, they lack a very important skill of uh, humanity, they lack imagination and, you know, intuition is exactly where, where in the intuitive part comes from. Like this, uh, senselets are very, very limited uh, to understanding the world and you'd be uh, basically retarded to rely on senselets to explain you the wor uh, world because this is, uh, they lack the intuition to, to know what is true and to feel and to come to the right conclusion intuitively so that the intuitive people can skip all those useless stages of gathering facts citing sources and coming up with well-constructed arguments uh, you know about arguments you know they're not one with facts anybody knows this anybody who's ever been in an argument knows that you never win with facts you need win with insults and mockery uh, if you want to learn more about this check out a uh, case in history i like to call the u.s presidential election of 2016 where an intuitive candidate completely shattered a senselet there's one way of explaining this is that uh, intuition is like the mystical skill of the Iranian hyperborean race, whereas only bugmen understand the cosmos through their senses. Intuition allows us to tap into these wavelengths in the universe and perceive the inner workings of the universe around us and to better, you know, heighten our consciousness level to a level where we can perceive and understand instead of learning and understanding, if you're following me. Uh, if you're intuitive, you understand exactly what I mean. If this is very confusing to you, you might be a senselet, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm the first one to tell you, you're, you're probably a robot. You will say something along the lines, but beep boop, I'm human. That's exactly what a robot would say who's programmed to mimic human life, and I'm very sorry for you. There is hope, though. I used to be a lot more sensing earlier, but I've gotten over that by, by training my intuitive side, by 
<clears throat> unlocking my eighth chakra and blasting energy through my um, ne energy network. You know what I mean. One people, one group of people I usually see have a very high percentage of, of intuitive people is salespeople. Like uh, uh, the, these, uh, I like hanging around with salespeople because they have great stories about how they absolutely run circles around these senselets and they just they they throw out facts and and these go uh, goody words and senselets are so confused. Uh, by this, it's, it throws up like a smoke screen around these poor, poor senselets who do not have the mental capacity to defend themselves against uh, these sen these intuitive salespeople who usually then uh, absolutely dominate them financially. And this is robbery in a sense, but I I will allow it because you know when when you are you know, in better in tune with the cosmos, like an intuitive person are, I think you are entitled to certain economic compensation from these people because they're, you know, it's like taking money from insects. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not here to, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm sure you're, there is some humanity in you. If you're a sense, let's, this is what I want to come to as well, that, you know, if you sit down and you meditate a bit, you might uh, start thinking weird thoughts that, you know, Maybe what I've been told by authority figures isn't always true and maybe my perception of reality isn't quite correct and maybe you start to feel and understand more than you start than thinking and analyzing. And when you start doing these things, you enhance your intuitive skills. You know, anybody can train it. It takes, you know, a person who has literal autism to have no ability to ever train up their intuition. I think women have a <clears throat> leg up on men because they are by nature a lot more of an intuitive race than men because when you think about it i think science says something along the lines i don't remember the numbers but i think there's like scientific proof that a woman's brain is like a quarter the size of a man's brain i don't know these numbers i'm not a nerd i don't concern myself with the facts but i know intuitively this to be true Right, but still, with that little brain capacity, when they unlock and they tap into their intuitive powers, they still come out on top uh, over men. That's why you can see women, um, you know, outperforming and uh, outflanking men in uh, different avenues of life because they intuitively understand this is a really scary, uh, really scary scenario if you ever go up against like a level 35 intuitive woman you know she's absolutely going to wipe the floor with you because she will be able to see into your head and if you're complete a uh, complete sense let you yourself don't even know what's going on there uh, this is why the ancient greeks made all the oracles uh, made sure that they were women because they had the strongest ability to you know sense and see the future and i do believe that i do believe that today there's uh, a lot of women who have uh, been tricked by uh, men who are way more autistic than I am to basically not tap into that intuition and not to rely on their feeling when they definitely should because it's one of their strengths which makes them so charming and elusive. Uh, but what the world really needs is more oracles because you know there are has been hard times in my life where I've the only thing I've really lacked is you know making a soul journey up side a mountain to meet a mystical oracle who will tell me in allegory you know what uh, what what's going to happen in my life and what I should look out for I really love reading the oracle of delphi's wikipedia page because it's uh, it says that their the oracle's powers were highly sought after and never doubted any inconsistencies between the prophecies and events were dismissed as failure to correctly interpret the responses not the error of the oracle and i really love this i really love this because this is how you intuitively understand facts it's uh, or information it's like uh, these uh, the nerds right it's like oh, these facts didn't they're not correlating with each other they're not consistent something's wrong in my data set oh, beep boop 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 it's like this this is a very you know 
nerdy way of understanding and going about science where you know you kind of intuitively uh, cherry pick information to make it fit to create a narrative this is how you do it uh, this is pr probably the best way of explaining the world because the world is too complex to explain with uh, um, Excel spreadsheets so uh, you're probably you know uh, a robot if you try to do anything like that but yeah this is basically my thoughts uh, let me know if you if you are a senselet or if you are an intuitive hyperborean master race uh, the last parting thought would be if you ever seen that uh, that comic where there's like four people sitting on a subway and there's one thought bubble and the thought bubble says that uh, oh man <clears throat> look at all these drones I'm surrounded by I'm the only conscious person here and the thing is that the thought bubble goes to all the four people they're all thinking oh I'm so special and this is exactly what a person who doesn't know what they're talking about would create uh, the true the real version of that would be since intuitive people are one quarter of the population it should be like one of those four who thinks that and then the other three's thought bubble is just static like just 